In today's video, we're going to be shooting a blue metallic with Raptor Liner on the Civic. Let's go ahead and piss everyone off. What's going on everybody welcome to the channel if you're new here definitely consider subscribing a previous video we painted my buddy's uh, turbo civic metallic blue with a nice high gloss 2k clear but after we bedlined my car and my brother's car he decided he wanted he wanted to jump on the bedlining bandwagon so basically we are going to be bedlining this I know a lot of you are probably cringing right now calling me an idiot and saying I'm gonna ruin a perfectly good paint job He's already got the clear uh, sanded all the way, pretty much all the way off. It's all prepped and ready to go using 180 grit so that it bonds really well. So I'm going to show you the color real quick of the bed liner we're doing. So as you can see, this color is a metallic blue. Um, we mixed it up the same way that we mixed all the other ones up. And it's just going to look really, really awesome. At least that's the goal. Uh, he loves the metallic blue, but he definitely likes how the bed line looks too. I know this paint is not for everyone. You don't have to like it. Um, if you're here just for content and want to see it painted, then uh, hope you guys enjoy it. But we're going to go ahead and uh, get everything set up. We are at an undisclosed location. I cannot tell where. Um, it's not at my house, as you can see. does not look anything like my house. The city has been complaining that I've been painting my own cars in the garage, so... Um, we're going to be buying land and getting a shop, but there will be more on that at the end of this video. So, um, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you did, definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Okay, so we've got the Raptor gun. There will be a link in the description for this tintable kit. You can actually tint, tint them with paint just from the local paint supply place. The single stage metal flake we have right here. Uh, make sure to wear a respirator. Make sure it's ventilated pretty decent and you will want to have the compressor around 55 to 65 and my experience seems to be the best I hold it kind of farther away other people have different methods that's cool that's their method this is my method so I hope you guys enjoy it here we go
Okay, so we got it done. Two coats all the way around, and the metal flake in this absolutely looks awesome. I really like the texture of it, and so does my buddy. Um, can't wait to see it out in the sun, but as per the usual, we have to take all the stuff off while it's tacky so it doesn't pull it all off um, in one piece. So we got to take the plastic off, take all the uh, stuff on the windows, all that off. But looks pretty good we got underside of the hood as well and the metallic that is underneath it if there are any spots showing through it's still going to be metallic the exact same color blue we did out of the spray can so it looks absolutely awesome but we're going to go ahead and uh, get to taking all this stuff off and as you can see the the ground is pulling up because of how sticky it is so we're going to have to get some of that up too but we're going to go ahead and be very careful pulling away from the paint and getting all this off so Sit tight. back together we're over here at my house where we have better lighting and I do have to say I really think this turned out better than all the other ones this metallic in person it looks so much different than it does on camera but it does have a nice sparkle to it um, can't wait to see it out in the Sun which I will have video of that as well but definitely looking good all the way around it's really even you can kind of see the sparkle I'm talking about because there is a lot of metal flake in this um, it looks really really nice and I personally like it more than the gloss metallic blue, the cobalt blue. That could just be me. I know everyone has their opinions on everything. So you're entitled to your opinion. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it wrong. Same with mine. Uh, so take it as you will. I just think it looks really, really nice. One of the things I like about this, I'll, I'll mention a few. It does set, sound deaden. So it deadens sound. Um, it even says this on the Raptor box. It doesn't weigh a lot. People always think that it's a myth. It does not weigh your car down. I have not had issues with aerodynamics or any of that stuff. My gas mileage has not changed um, on any of the vehicles I've done this to. So I just wanted to point that out. Super easy to apply, covers imperfections. Um, so if you've got small dings and scratch, deep scratches into the metal, stuff like that, it covers it right up with ease. So it's really easy to apply. I really like that. Everyone will say I'm a cop out. That's fine. I I'm a cop out. I like doing the bed liner um, And it has you can get it in metallics. You can do almost any color So we have the, the green Civic out there and my brother's blue Civic and they turned out pretty good This one I think turned out way nicer. So if we ever redo those they're definitely going with a metallic um, I can't wait to see it out in the Sun, but he he likes it and he can verify. So do you like it? Oh, yeah I love it. It's awesome. It turned out really good. So 10 years of hard work and this is this is what it what it's gonna what it looks like it's it's just so crazy I really wish you guys could be here in person to see it I know seeing it on camera is just one thing but seeing it in person is a totally different story uh, it's really durable it is pretty scratch proof now it can be scratched it just takes a lot of effort um, with the bugs from the highway because he does drive highway a lot um, he won't have that issue no more because we've taken bed liner on couple thousand miles worth of drives and uh, didn't have any issues and it cleans really easy so there's a lot of pros to the bed liner I think the only con I would have to say you have with bed liner um, would probably be the fact that uh, it's hard to take off if you ever want to take it off you probably have to use some like 40 grit but other than that don't take it off 
<laughs> you should be good. You want to change the color? Go over the bed liner again. I don't know. But uh, I really like how it looks. So we're definitely going to see what it looks like tomorrow um, out in the sun. But before we do that, I did want to tell you guys I am trying my hardest to get a shop now. Since the city has been complaining, they sent me some notices saying I can't paint. They thought I was running a business out of my garage, which I am not running a business out of my garage. I didn't do this for money. I'm doing this for content for you guys. So I did not get paid to do this. I want to state that for all my other videos too. I did not get paid for them. So I just want to make that clear. Um, so they're trying to get me for that and doing paint, which 90% of my paint jobs have fans with filters on them. And there is no neighbors like actually close, close by. I mean, yeah, they're across the street, but I know them and they're really cool. And the neighbors next door are really cool too. So I don't know who would be complaining. I think it's just the Karen in the neighborhood. And if your name's Karen and you're offended by that, I'm sorry. So if anyone is interested in helping with that, just please share the videos, like the videos, drop a comment below. And if you want to donate to help pr further progress us to, in to getting a legitimate shop, uh, there's a donate button in the description, but it's not required. I'm not panhandling. And if you want to call it that, that's fine. Maybe I am. Who cares? Uh, I just need some help with this and I need your guys' help or I can't continue to do paint stuff. And I was going to start using some, some of the spray gun stuff so we could do that, but... Uh, they said I can't anymore, so now I'm stuck to doing just mechanic work on my cars, which really, really sucks because you guys love the paint stuff. So keep that in mind and be sure to share the videos, but we're going to wait till tomorrow to see what this thing looks like out in the sun, so sit tight. All right, so here is the car out in the sunlight. Definitely looks pretty cool. I had my buddy go out and record it since I wasn't there, um, so sorry about the shadow, but... Uh, definitely see some sparkle in it it's hard to see on camera but there's definitely a lot of sparkle in metal flake um, looks really good pretty even all the way around it does have more texture but that's because the gun that they sent in this kit was definitely picking up more material and spraying it out than the kits we've previously had there's a ton of metal flake and it looks absolutely amazing I just wanted to show you guys what a metal flake blue paint job looks like over the metal flake blue spray campaign job we already did. Um, I know a lot of you are mad about that, um, and I totally get it. Shiny does look good, but I prefer the bed liner, and a lot of other people are starting to come around to it, and it's really refreshing to know that uh, other people can think differently. You don't have to think one specific way just because the majority of the population believes the same exact thing. So um, I hope that makes sense. Now we did paint these wheels. Uh, these are different wheels that I got. There will be a video coming out about that, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned because I've already finished it. Obviously they're painted. Um, but they turned out pretty awesome, and I'm gonna show exactly how I did that in the upcoming video. I also was able to get some uh, green glow under the hood so that when we're at car meets and stuff, we can definitely show that off. I'll show you. Looks pretty cool, at least I think it does. Not very bright, but we'll get better lights soon. Definitely making some progress. And it's looking pretty good. So, if you guys didn't watch the engine bay painting video, definitely go do that. It's in my videos. Um, and the Texas valve cover is also in the videos. And that one will be coming out soon. So definitely subscribe, turn the bell notification on to get notified of every upload. And definitely stay tuned. So, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, to each their own, that's all I got to say at the end of this video, but if you definitely liked it, definitely hit the like button, drop a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.